Welcome to Mystic Dude's introduction to Riot Games Rune Terror. So here we have a quick look at the uh, the home screen. And I'll just quickly go around it and try and explain what we've got. So we've got your profile picture, in-game currency to buy card backs, boards, companions or guardians to call them here, and shards which you can acquire in-game to create new cards. They are expensive but at least you can get them for free whereas the other currency you need to buy from the shop. You've got your menu options here, trends, uh, system settings, that information that they can put in game for you. At the bottom you've got your quest, which are daily quests that you get. If you've played Earthstone you'll be familiar with these. Weekly Vault, which is like a weekly cash you get. You earn XP to go higher in the levels. The higher you get, the better rewards you get. And it unlocks weekly. Again, similar mechanic to Earthstone. On the left hand side, we have your home screen button, your play button, your collections, your rewards, and of course, the all important store because they want to get their money from you. So we'll just have a quick look at each one. The play button, you can play versus a player. You can play versus the AI. Expedition and challenges. So, player and AI, pretty self-explanatory. You, you're playing against somebody else, or you're playing against the game. Expeditions. You need tokens to get in. You can earn the tokens for free, or you can buy them. Uh, better just to wait to get until you get them for free. It's a bit similar like the arena pass in Earthstone. And then the challenges are more like tutorials. As you can see, I've played a couple. I'm quite new to the game, but I have played a couple. And it introduces it introduce you to, to the mechanics of the cards. So we'll go on to mechanics of the cards. It, as you can see, they've got different icons on. And each icon represents certain factions and cards have different abilities for weaknesses and strengths. So if we went on to a new deck, you can show different regions and each region again, like I said, has different weaknesses and strengths. And if you click on a card, so let's say, let's find one with a strength for a weakness. So that one has burst. So if you mouse over it, burst spells resolve instantly. The enemy can't act before it finishes. Last breath. That's when it dies. Barrier, to put a barrier on another card. Quick attacks, strikes before it's blocker. So if it puts a block up, it'll strike before it's actually blocked. You've got summon abilities, slows for spells. So there's various uh, frostbite, that can basically set an attacker its power to zero so if it's going to attack you you haven't really got anything to block it but you don't want to lose the card you're going to block it with you could frostbite it to put the attacker's power to zero to save blocking it silence you'd be familiar with that recall you should be familiar with that so yeah let's get on into a game and we'll have a look and Let's see, we'll just show you a bit. So here we are going into a, a play game. We're just going to go on a, a challenge. We'll just pick the next one up. So Overwhelming Force. So I'll probably tell by the name it's going to be to introduce us to units with Overwhelm. And Overwhelm, as it says there, they can damage the enemy nexus. The enemy nexus is basically the player's health points, even when they're blocked. So, as you could see, the difficulty is on beginners. I haven't found a way if I can, you can set that higher yet. And as I'm definitely a beginner, I don't want to do so. Use the power of Overwhelm to win this round. So, 
if I, you can right click on a card and it shows overwhelm so if you're not sure what something does just right click the card and select it the board here is on as you can see the layout the blue spinning orb is my nexus the red is the enemies this is the on the right hand side you've got your options to pass the sword is an attack token basically shows me that it's my turn to play so let's just bring uh, that out cast a spell on him put him onto the board And even though I got blocked, because it's overwhelmed, the uh, the damage is still done to the Nexus. Same again, use the power of overwhelm to win this round. And the card out. As you can see by my many misclicks, I'm still getting familiar with the game. It takes a little bit of getting used to it. It's, it's not a difficult game, but it's not as, as simple as and as in, intuitive as Earthstone. But that can be a good thing, you know, if you want a, a, a bit more of a challenge. Right, so he's got a card to play this, this time. Uh, so let's have a look. So as you can see, when I'm summoned, grant me two, plus two, zero, if you have a note for Noxus ally. Noxus is the faction, and you can tell the factions by the little icons at the bottom of the card. If I look at the card that's in play, that's a Noxus. So if I play him, I should get plus two, zero, which I did, so he's now on plus three. He's played his other card, so at least I know now it isn't anything too strong. So let's play that. Don't know what I'm doing. So that animation there was a card leveling up. So you get level ups when a criteria is met. It could be like if you've got a card in play and he sees two other allies die. Or if you've cast a spell a certain amount of times, or if you've used so much mana, or if you've defended with a card so many times and it can level up, it makes it a bit stronger. So I hope you enjoyed the quick gameplay. I'm going to come back and do another one with more gameplay. This was mainly to test out my video settings, as uh, I've just reinstalled it all on a new PC. But yeah, any questions, hit me up in Discord. And uh, hope to see you again. Mystic dude out.